my talk is about making uh, anti antimatter beam for spectroscopic study. This is uh, mainly I, I, I'm going to talk about the uh, start plastic experiment. This is a conversion mark. So, so when we published in the last year ago, more than 30 people, the students and researchers are participating in this experiment. So why, why we are trying to make a matter B? So the symmetry between matter and matter is known as the CPP symmetry. CPP symmetry is the most fundamental symmetry in, of the standard model in elementary particles. This symmetry predicts that particles and if and particles are identical in photosynthesis way. That means that both particles and have the same mass, exact same mass, or exact same lifetime, for example. And they have a, the, the same size of electric charge for a moment, but over the time. So, so CPT means a uh, child communication and continuous formation and can be bus. And or, already some experiments help <coughs> quality transformation or some combined CT transformation and time reversal are found to be violated in some physical systems. So the CPT is the last one to test experimentally. And recently some theory tells us some CPT violating model. So actually some model says are uh, this phenomena can appear in even in atomic system. So this, this is a spectroscopic feature or properties of hydrogen ones. So hydrogen is uh, one of the physical system. And you see this one S to S from this frequency is increased to no up to down to and the minus 15 in precision. This is uh, this was not this condition and this down shift is also known up to this and down to the and the minus 16 precision and this hyperfine split splitting is also known to and to minus 13 instead this precision. So some physical physics experiment of some in Switzerland trying to measure the spectroscopic properties of hydrogen. So this is of course for hydrogen, but some of the experimental techniques can be applied to hydrogen system. And one more I should say, so these both are quantities are at the leading order. As you see, this is a The different physical quantities are can contribute at the beginning of the whole. For example, this is the mass, and this is the charge radius, and this is the, at the leading order defined by amount of moment and also for factors of protons and photons. So, the first hydrogen was reported just 20 years ago at the time. At that time, they used this high energy antiproton B. And if antiproton at G energy passed through just nearby this zeon <coughs> nucleus, they are created electron and photon pair can be maybe yeah. So if this question that happened to be blinded by this antiproton, they call anti-hydrogen atom. The cross-section is very small, this is an elementary process, but they see the around 10 events of anti-hydrogen. So this is the first, I, I, I may say this is the first anti-hydrogen beam. However, this is too fast to, to perform any spectroscopic studies to apply to this system. So, as soon as several experiments try to make Cold and hydrogen at the energy level, say, down to sub electron volt energy regions. 
In 2002, Athena and Aircraft Corporation reported the succeeding in water hydrogen in this special domestic net population. So here we have a potential of the photo. This is the nested inside the article of the So they took this configuration inside a homogeneous noise field. So once anti hydrogen are formed, of course there is no force to confine neutral anti atoms. So just they succeed, but they can't do anything when spectroscopic study. So as seen as success alpha and a lab is trying to make their special magnetic photos. By using this uh, field gradient, they can actually be confined neutral as hydrogen. So this is a great step for as hydrogen spectroscopy, but you know as hydrogen are inside this well, that means uh, they feel the inhomogeneous magnetic field. So the place precision should be limited by this magnetic environment. So another way to make high precision spectroscopy is to make anti hydrogen beam just extract from this magnetic environment to perform spectroscopy inside the non zero field environment. So atomic beam experiment itself is already have long history. Even in the 1930s, Gabi started to uh, try to measure the high, uh, high power speaking of hydrogen, you can you can you know, uh, fundamental atoms. So they, they have uh, atomic source on the first six of four. This is this homogeneous point field selected the uh, spin state. So they induce a uh, spin filter by this cavity and analyze by the Next six four. This is a for uh, Gabi's dynamic evidence technique. Another beam spectroscopy is a lamp shift measurement by using this uh, lamp separated oscillatory method. So this <coughs> this method can be applicable for even for the answer to beam. So a subset progression. In this collaboration, I, I personally are uh, extensively working for the past almost 15 years. But anyway, Asakusa is trying to learn about this Rabi's method and uh, try to apply, uh, apply to as hydrogen experiment. So, do you know that hyperfine splitting of ground state of anti hydrogen, this discrepancy is a uh, split into four under a wet field environment and those states are classified into two that means low field seeking state and high field seekers so by using a homogeneous field uh, we, we can do a hyperfine spectroscopy of the bunch of hydrogen beams so we replaced by the part by this Truck. This is uh, consisting of a uh, consist of anti-heliport coil, as you see. So if at hydrogen are uh, formed inside this cast truck, then they feel this field gradient. This field gradient acts as a lens for low field seekers, while on the other hand, this hydrogen seekers are the focus. Probably the focus. By this way, we can obtain a polarized as hydrogen beam. This is our calculation. So, this is a local seeker that are enhanced at the most temperature. So, it's lucky as hydrogen are passed through these devices and they are focused because the only local seeker that are passed through. So, they are focused by the six four magnet. When we apply a resonance frequency at this cavity, spin flip is induced. So now low field seekers are turned into the high field seeker. So detected number of watch hydrogen is decreasing. From this profile, we can extract the, the uh, intact resonance frequency of hyperplane speaking. This is uh, our scheme to measure anti hydrogen. 
spectroscopy, uh, for the channel and spectroscopy. So, to make much hydrogen, anyway, we need to prepare photons and ash photons, almost at the electron of energy region. Photons are, how I may say, rather easy to obtain. So, we can buy a radioactive source, like sodium 22, so we can prepare it. But for ash photons, because it is almost 1 GeV in mass, so we do not have such radioactive source, so we need to uh, accelerate us. So this is the sun also from our uh, airplane something like that. So this is the famous large hadron collider. This is used for elementary particle physics research, so like Higgs boson, but we do not use such huge machine. Inside sun, another unique facility with this, that is antiproton accelerator, AD. So high energy high energy proton B from proton synchrotron is divided on the um, lithium target of sun. So this sun antiproton accelerator, antiprotons are then introduced this ring and decelerate and cool down to carbon and B. So we can use this slow as photons. So now, uh, at sun, these six experiments are working, and this is our experiment to make anti-hydrogen beam. And they are also making anti-hydrogen beam, but for the gravitational experiment. So this is our setups. We have, as I said, we have a sodium 20 source for, to obtain photon. Here is an anti-photon trap. So anti-photon from AD are performed inside this trap and cool down to say some electron volt energy. So photons and photons are transferred to this fast trap and we mix them and we make a hydrogen. So this is the cross-sectional view of our system, a fast trap. These are these points and they, they are points. They generate a uh, produce a fast magnetic field shown as shown by these field lines. Inside the coils, we have a stack of beam electrodes by applying a proper electrostatic potential, we make this kind of uh, electrostatic electro potential. So inside this, in first, we accumulate photons in this kind of uh, amount of well. then to uh, transform it to this nested pair here. And from our antiprotons, antiproton trap, antiprotons are injected. At this time, the, this kinetic energy is tuned, is slightly higher than this, uh, than the potential energy of proton protons. So they are trapped inside this. Antiprotons and protons are parallel with each other. But here, as you can see, this nested uh, well location is located this so-called spindle cast region. So there to be high magnetic field. So the, le the leptons, light particles, photons can displace the, their gain energy, their cyclotron, cyclotron bosons. So photons are eventually bound to as photons, they form anti-hydrogen. So once anti-hydrogen has formed, they are electrically neutral, so they cannot see any this, this electrostatic square anymore, so they need free. On the other hand, trapped protons, not reactive as protons, is still inside this. So only a neutralized particle can reach this, uh, this position. Here we have a strong electric field. So at hydrogen, if in a uh, state, they can be filled by. So they can be confined here. So once we have this, we see this kind of annihilation and spectrum. So this is a way to confirm as hydrogen synthesis inside the cluster. So this is a typical kind of spectrum by repeating, accumulating, and accumulation and dumping periodically during the one mixing cycle, we obtain this kind of time evolution. So typically we use uh, 30 and uh, 300,000 transport and 30 million postcards. And so typically 
次にラウンド中間でその先ほどの進化の方のサイクル。So what but from this spectrum, as you see, this reaction is complete maximum around 25 seconds after the transport injection. But during this time window, this is obtained by our by our fine crackers. Antiproton annihilation distribution has some peak. This peak is almost correspond to the position of position drug. So maybe formation reaction is happening at this position. But at this time region, reaction seems to be almost stopped. And as you see, this, this uh, annihilation distribution there is a broader distribution. Even our uh, banks uh, can be recognized at both potential maximums. So we consider the some possibilities and we are we are thinking about this actual separation between antiproton and postron. So two possible reasons can be considered. One we one possible process is energy loss of antiproton by interaction with electrons. Although we, do, we did not explicitly drop any electrons, but electrons can be generated near a process of annihilation of a photon. And another possible reason is energy reduction of a photon due to original relativation value something what was moving in this as well. So once they are separated, as photons are dropped, here or this <coughs> they, they are moving around this curvature, so depending on their amplitude of their motion, they have a specific frequency. So by applying that continuous, uh, by applying RF continuously, we obtain this uh, dependency. This is the amplitude dependence of RF, this is what frequency from this that we find the best excitation Rx. That means, uh, okay, antibody confined here, so by applying Rx, we excite the motion. So th they again inject it into this positron plasma. So this black signal obtained without any Rx, Rx assistance, but when we apply tuned Rx, we succeed in to prolong this reaction time. So we now obtain this number of cycles and for one machine cycle. So now we have a hydrogen inside this cluster. So some a fraction can, can be flowing out from this from this trap and pass through this spectrometer line. At the end we have a H bar in detector. This is located almost in the downstream of the bus plant. And this consists of a, a disk of VGO single crystals. And this crystal is located installed inside the beam duct. Beam duct itself is surrounded by high plastic scintillators. In front of the VGO disk, we have a field ionization electrode, another field ionization electrode. So only at hydrogen with a specific lower end, lower end state can fit the VGO disk directly and annihilate on its surface. So they release their, their mass energy. So we see a huge energy deposition in this VGO. This is an energy spectrum obtained by uh, in 2012. <coughs> and this shaded spectrum uh, shows the uh, background. Uh, so from this uh, you see the excess at the higher energy region. By applying uh, some statistical analysis, we see some this significance of around uh, 5 or 3 sigma for each case. So for this function, we apply uh, some electrode, uh, electric field. So only this end state of hydrogen can lead to the video detector. And this is another one. We have much more <coughs> So 
From this result, we say for one cycle about 600 and and for one mixing site, we see a uh, we detected anti-hydrogen flow at the end of the spectrum in the line. So, for our purpose, we confirmed making anti-hydrogen and detecting our anti-hydrogen at the end of the spectrum in the So, I come to the summary. So, for the stranger test on CBD symmetry, or with much higher rent, people try to drop much higher than or making much higher than me. A success collaboration is taking this way. So to perform the much higher than spectrum copy, we make fast drop and we already succeed in synthesized much higher than also suppressed actual separation by our excitation and we confirm a hydrogen beam event at the end of the spectrum in the line. So towards the white hyperfine spectrum, spectroscopy, it, it looks that our skin is working, but the total number is still small. For better statistics, we need to improve this state. And of course, we need to investigate the key states for the hyperfine spectroscopy. So for that purpose, we are now making a new apparatus, this double magnet, and we find its body detectors and other new pion patterns. The current one is only sensitive to the 1D side, or only sensitive to the axis, but the new one is have sensitivity for the R direction. So these issues are discussed by my colleagues in the postcard session in the coming Monday. So, thank you very much for your attention. And I should say something about this conference. We have a low energy and photon physics conference in, in the coming March in Japan, also including in, in anti-fire Thank you.